As you get farther east, the threat does go up. So not widespread severe weather, but some severe weather is possible. Yes, that potential is there as we're waiting on a cold front to arrive tonight. Here's kind of the setup. Timing 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. is where we really need to be mindful of the of what is happening weather-wise. A dry line is moving in this afternoon, so that's going to give us a conditional isolated severe threat, meaning a couple of storms, if they can get going in that 3, 4, 5 o'clock, window, they would likely be severe and we could see some large hail up to at least golf ball size. Cold front itself actually arrives late in the evening and into tonight. That's where we would see a little bit better coverage of storms and I think that's especially east of I-35 right along that front watching for some gusty winds. So bottom line, that severe threat there up to golf ball size hail will be possible and damaging winds as that cold front moves in the other big threat to watch for. As far as what we're dealing with right now, the clouds have been moving in. We've watched as the moisture really surges back in very quickly. I think we're seeing a lot more cloud cover today than not. And we're waiting on the storm system, the core of it actually still out to the northwest. They're exiting Wyoming, moving into Colorado. That's going to keep moving into the central plains the next 24 hours. As it does, there will be, a, again, an associated cold front. And the severe threat stretches from Texas up through southern Missouri and even down in through the Mid-South, Mississippi and Alabama, where the, really the bullseye is there in southern Mississippi. But for us in North Texas, we've got a variation of severe threats. You can see it really drops off west of I-35, where you're not as likely to even see rain, but then you get along and east of I-35, and that's the, where that potential does go up. As far as the timing on this, maybe a couple of showers and storms along the Red River from mid to late morning, but most of us are waiting on the afternoon and evening period. So here's 3 o'clock. Our dry line's moving in just west of I-35. That's where we watch for that potential for some isolated storms to pop right along and ahead of that dry line. But then the more widespread impact is likely going to wait till late evening, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, with that cold front moving through, impacting Terrell to Greenville to Sulphur Springs. And then after midnight, the storms are gone, and we are left with some quieter weather for the remainder of the weekend. So rain chances, yes, they're there. Do I guarantee everyone gets rain? Absolutely not. Only up to a 40% chance tonight. So uh, if you get the rain, you will be one of the, the few because we are going to see a lot of locations staying dry. So right now, as you head out, 68, a mild, humid start. Winds out of the south to 13. They'll be able to get up to 25 miles an hour today for a breezy setup. Most cloudy warm a high of 87 degrees and then we are watching that afternoon threat for isolated storms then all of that is out of here by tonight and then as we look ahead to Saturday Sunday an improvement tomorrow humidity has gone thanks to that north wind cold front has passed we'll see our coolest day tomorrow at 75 and then we're back up up on Sunday before some rain chances return into early next week